Our first drive we're looking at today is the Apple II Plus 5 and a quarter inch floppy drive. It's the standard drive that you would find with uh, the IBM, I'm uh, sorry, the Apple II Plus 2E. You could even see them on uh, other clone computers. Um, this one is an actual one from Apple Computers. It's a model uh, ASM003. Serial number is 897052, made in the USA, and it's a disc 2. So this would traditionally plug into your Apple II computer, and you'd run your floppy drives through that, and off you go. The next drive I want to show you is the smaller version of that drive. This is from Tech or Tiek, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, uh, the FD. 55A. It was quite popular back in the day. This was a, a, a no-name clone, well, not really no-name, but a clone brand uh, made in China that you would find on a lot of the Apple II Plus clones. And uh, again, five and a quarter inch floppy drive. Pop it in, close the door, and off you go. Comparing this to the original floppy, you can see the size is much smaller now them side by side like that this is definitely much shorter it's about half the size so you could actually put two of these stacked on top of each other which would be the same size as one of the Apple II floppy drives now the drive I want to talk about today is even smaller than this and it is the W drive this is the W drive here Let's see if it comes up on camera properly it's a very small drive emulator that basically comes with a cable which you plug in the back and you doesn't come with it but you you get a uh, an S, a micro SD card I use the one with the um, the micro so the micro SD let me see if I can get that better in focus it's the little uh, micro SD cards which then pl plugs into this adapter you don't have to use it you can actually use use the SD card to plug in but I like using this because I have them this would you'd load up your software onto the uh, card and you'd pop it into your drive here and off you go you're ready to uh, emulate floppy drives on your uh, 2, 2 plus 2e there's even adapter you can get for the 2c and uh, well, let's plug it in and uh, see how it works Okay, I've got the uh, Apple, my Apple IIe on the bench. This is one of my two Apples, two E's that I have. And uh, this one is a basic uh, kind of configuration. Uh, it is a non uh, non modified uh, in the sense that the the board is running this the original uh, standard ROMs. It has the uh, additional memory card at 80 columns. It also has a this is a CPM card. This is a clone CPM card. And this is a disk to interface card. This is what you'd find in the Apple IIs and IIes. So, next we have to plug in the cable that we've got. Now, please note that on the cable, I'm just going to show you this is very important. On the cable, you'll see a red line. This red line here is the, the plus side, is pin 1. You'd want to ensure that pin 1 is lined up properly with your card. It's not plugged in. Um, the wrong way it's not plugged in off centered or there's two rows of pins and that the the cable actually plugs in properly with pin one this red line here on the painted uh, line is facing towards the front of the card so it's in properly if you plug it in the other way or a different way you are definitely going to damage your floppy drive regardless of which drive you decide to use so ensure you plug it in the right way this goes into slot six which is right there 
now on the uh, W drive, we've plugged in the the um, card, the micro SD card, and this one plugs in here. Uh, it's, it's very simple. In this case here, there's a notch at the uh, on one side, and the cable too has a notch that goes in. So you can't plug it in backwards; it won't go in. If you plug it in a certain way, like that, now we are set. The screen, I'm going to just turn it on so you can see the screen on here. And I'll bring the camera in a bit so you can get a better view of what's going on. So from here, we can see we have a menu. We can select different programs by hand. We can just press the button up or down. Uh, we can go different uh, folders. And you select what you want and then turn your computer on or off back on again and it'll run that program. However, the, the good thing about the W drive, which I was really impressed with, with is that you can actually uh, put in a small configuration file on the root of the card and it will produce a menu on the screen, which is fantastic because that we have to worry about sitting and scrolling through buttons. You can actually use, use the keyboard to pick and choose what programs or games you want. So let's take a look at that. Now with the W drive plugged in, let's turn on the computer and see what it looks like. And there we have it. The W drive is booted up. You'll have to pardon my uh, video setup. I'm still having a problem with the capture device for my computer. However, we here we see the W drive boot menu version uh, 1.2. And um, it's great. You can then just select the programs you want on the top of the screen you'll see the the actual name show up but you can actually go into subfolders press the enter key and you can scroll down to some game that you want to play so let's try arcade and go down to let's say I don't know let's see which one do I want to play let's try Donkey Kong Jr. And while it's loading up, the drive works very good. Uh, now, again, please pardon the video. For the color isn't really showing up as well as it does on the actual screen. But you get an idea of what is going on here. So let's... Um, so the, the, the Druppy drive does not impact the performance of the system other than, that, other than it enhances the fact that you don't need to use a floppy drive. Now we have the drive uh, plugged in. We're going to try a different program. This one here is a uh, hard drive image. It's the Total Replay version 4.01. And as you can see, this will not boot up with the W drive because it's not uh, it's looking for soft SP support, which the 2E does not have. The 2GS does. So in order to get this working, uh, the you can order an option board, which is called the Soft SP card. And let's take a look at that right now. So the additional daughter board you can get is called the, this one here. Oop, let me pull it out. It's the Soft SP card. It's a very tiny card. Uh, this plugs into slot one or two of your computer and this will allow you to then boot those images so I've ordered this separately from the same place but I've ordered it and let's pop it inside and see if we can load up the uh, total, re uh, total replay games let's turn the computer off make sure this is in slot one or two I am using slot one this slot is very tight because it's not really used. There we go. So let's plug that in and uh, go back to our other screen and turn on the 2E and see what we can do now. All right, so we have it loaded up on both the camera and the capture card. Again, both are not very great. I apologize. So let's total try the total replay and hit enter this time and see what comes up. Oh, look, now it's loading. So that card is excellent. It allows us then, like I said, to load up uh, uh, the hard drive images. And now we are in Total Replay. We can select any game you like. 
and go from there. Let's uh, let's try something here. Let's do um, Conan. Why not? And there we go. It's actually loading up as per regular game. And you can load anything you want on here too. Like I said, you can put games, uh, programs. I've used uh, the uh, word processor database files. I showed you CPM can run on it. So the drive is uh, very compatible, if not 100% compatible with traditional floppy drives. Now let's start plugging in a second drive. I'm going to use the uh, three, the five, the half height, five and a quarter inch floppy drive. Um, let's see, I put a, I found a diskette here. It's the uh, RAM test uh, utilities for the Apple II Plus two E and two C. So I'm going to put this. I'm not going to plug it all the way in. I'm going to show you that it is working, but not booting off that drive so what we're going to do now is unplug the interface card uh, again align the red pin to pin one which is sits like so so it should be like that along like the other one plug this back into slot six and i'm going to boot up and i'm going to leave this camera on this view so you can see the floppy disk is not being booted from and we're going to switch to the other camera Okay, so now I'm going to boot up off the the W drive. And here in the W drive, I'm going to go to the to my diskettes here. I'm going to go to the master disk. And it's booting up off that image. So, here's the the content. And we just have three little programs. Now I'm going to plug in, or plug in, I'm going to put in the floppy drive on the second drive, and I'm going to do a catalog of the second drive. Catalog is like a read the directory off the set off a drive. Comma D2 means which drive, the first one or second one. This is plugged in as drive two, so let's run that. And we can see that there are um, the contents of the second. And I can actually run programs off the second, even though the first one is plugged into the W drive. So we can say, let's see here, we'll, we'll run read write mem dot util. It's not read q, it's read write. And that's, oh boy. I'm having fun typing. Okay, so now we're loading up uh, this other utility. I'm going to run it twice just to show you that it's actually running off the second floppy and not off the W drive. So from here, you can then actually you can actually copy programs to and from the W drive and to and from a floppy disk. So you can load up a program off the floppy and use a one of the copy tools like uh, Copy Plus or uh, Locksmith. And uh, you can use a program, for example, like Locksmith to copy the disk image onto the W drive and vice versa. You can also write your own programs and save them to the, to the uh, W drive, which I will show you actually right now. So we're done here. Let me uh, just reboot. I'll take the disk out again and I'm going to boot up into again it can be anything um, but I want to do um, I want to go back to my master disk and as you can see there's only the hello program which is the initialization program the uh, weather Apple weather program I'm putting together and the Apple matrix. So if I type in new, we have nothing here. List, no program. So let's write something. So 10 print 
Um, let's see here. Print. Hello. There. And then 20. Go to 10. Simple little program. Let's run it. And it's running. Great. So now we can save. We'll call it, uh, I don't know, hi. And now it's going to save the content of this program onto a, the disk. And if I do a catalog of the disk, we can see there's the program called hi. Now I'm going to type in new to empty up memory. Nothing here. We're going to load hi. And we're going to do a list so I can show you the contents is there and run it. And we have it. So you can see that you can actually read and write files uh, from the W drive, not just uh, read them. So, which is great. So if you want to write a program, you can actually save it. You can then take the uh, the memory card out, pop it into your 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 Windows computer or your Mac computer or Linux computer. You can edit it there and then copy it back and and go back and forth. So it's a lot more advantageous to have this drive emulator as opposed to a regular floppy because with the floppy now, okay, I've saved the, a program onto a floppy. How do I get that off onto my computer or how uh, can I put it easily onto another computer? If the floppy goes bad, now you're stuck. Um, floppies are, you know, becoming more and more um, def having that really defective, having issues over time because they get mold build up on the inside, etc. Uh, they can go bad fairly easily if you put them on something magnetic. Now it's done. So having a W drive is a, a great way to um, to access your files. Um, do you have to worry about the, uh, you know drive belts and the uh, other you know problems you just plug this in and it goes so next thing I want to show you is what I've done with this W drive or my second W drive same one though what I've done that on my other 2e so let's flip over to that and uh, take a look here's my uh, other Apple 2e uh, you can see here I'm gonna open this one up this one is my more modified uh, this is more more modified uh, 2e um, in it I'm going to let's see if I can just do a better job of showing you what is inside so if I bring the camera down uh, this is a 2e it's been has a modified uh, uh, ROM chip It's running the ROM X 2e uh, which allows me to have additional features and functions, including uh, changing uh, of fonts on the screen, etc. Um, this one has a, let's see here, this one has the serial card put in. I have the, uh, what's it called, the CPM card. I have a second controller card and my uh, Apple II interface card. Now, what I've done differently on this one here, I'm going to zoom in like that. And maybe you can get a better view. Let's move it around. Sorry. Um, yeah, you can see I have the W drive on this one. And what I've done is I've used two-way tape, two-sided tape, to mount it onto the back of the case. And that way I don't have to worry about plugging external floppy drives. I don't have to worry about having the unit sitting outside with a cable to the side, etc. I can just put it on there. If I need to, I can just hit that... Uh, 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 button the spring there to only un uh, unlock the card pull out the uh, SD card load up more programs pop it in and go um, you get them fairly large so you can actually put basically every single piece of Apple to software on it and just have it sitting there and go from there so if you want to buy a W drive uh, here's the the link I'll put it in the description of the video uh, ct6502.org slash product slash W drive where you can actually buy your your disk drive emulator. Um, they have uh, really nice pictures on here showing the different configurations of how you plug it in. Uh, for example, here notice that the the uh, cable is the red pin is on pin one. Uh, we have the 2C set up here with the Nox Arceus running. Again, showing the menu that I've showed you already and the unit with the screen 
that is quite actually nice on the screen. However, if you have the menu program in, you don't need to use that. Uh, the two options are the W drive for the 2C and the 2GS. Uh, this will run the uh, hard disk image uh, disk images. But if you have a, a 2, 2 plus or 2E, you need the uh, soft SP card in order to recognize those files. Um, it, there's um, additional products you can look at. Uh, uh, there's the a great uh, book called the assembly lines the booty card which is currently out of stock um, wireless controller for the uh, I believe it's a, it's a, any two computer but uh, getting back to this uh, unit um, it's a pre-order right now that they're, they're out of stock um, it takes two to three weeks the the feature is that you know it, it, it emulates the uh, five and a quarter inch floppy drive or smart uh, port device it supports the WAS, uh, NIB, e, uh, EDF, DSK, PO, uh, DO files it format it it supports the 400k network 800k images it can emulate the 3.5 uh, inch drive with 800k WAS images read only though and uh, again it has the uh, the soft port or the soft SP smart port adapter um, and has a built-in uh, built-in boot screen and also comes a copy of locksmith and uh, ED, uh, EDF write writes copy duct images to real floppy disks uh, and is a fantastic uh, unit now here's also a comparison between this uh, W drive and the floppy EMU and shows you the comparisons between both I have both uh, units. I have the W drive and I have the floppy emu. Uh, they both have their strengths in uh, different areas. For example, the floppy emu, I can boot images off my Mac, and uh, the W drive has a uh, the one that really nice uh, menu for uh, selecting your images. Whereas of right now, as of this video, the floppy emu doesn't. So. The, the the costs are seventy eight ninety to ninety eight eighty US, and uh, you can go to the site and uh, take a look at other products. Uh, that's about it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Let me let me know what you think about this uh, this uh, drive emulator. Uh, do you have one? How do you use it? Uh, do you prefer this over the floppy emu or vice versa? Let me know. And thank you very much. Have a great day.